Okay, I am not sure what's going on with the Divine Feminine Collective, but y'all need to simmer down. <laughs> um, I woke up this morning to a lot of messages from Divine Feminines wondering if they're even on the Twin Flame journey, if they're Divine Masculine, if it was all a sham, if it was all a joke, why, why they're wondering about their feelings for their Divine Masculine, and if their ma divine masculine was even really interested. I mean, look, I think we need to just drop the twin flame label altogether. I know I am a twin flame coach. I am also a relationship and spiritual coach, but these labels are making things worse. We need to drop the label. Everybody thinks they're on a twin flame journey. Everybody thinks that they want to find their twin flame. Everybody is obsessed with finding their twin flame. Let it go. You need to find yourself. You need to love yourself. None of this even matters when it's all said and done. None of this twin flame stuff even matters. And I know that's a really weird thing for me to say because this is my business. This is my, this is my work, right? But my job here as a twin flame coach is also to bring you back to yourself. A twin flame journey becomes a spiritual journey. It awakens you, right? That's how you know you're on the twin flame journey is because after you've gone through dark night of the soul, you go through this deep spiritual awakening. And that spiritual awakening is meant to keep you on your path. Like I had a, a follower of mine who messaged me and says that said that they want to go back to who they were before they met their twin. They want to go back to being the unawakened version. Why would you want that? Why would you want to go back to the 3D matrix? Why would you want to go back to that, you know, social conditioning? You don't want that, but you need to live in the present moment. You need to forget the twin flame label. And I know it's easier said than done. I know it's easier said than done because this person is always on your mind, but you need to start thinking about how you want to be treated. If your divine masculine is not treating you the way that you deserve, is not being consistent with you, is giving you breadcrumbs, is going in and out of your life, why do you even want that person? Why are you putting this person on a pedestal when you should be put on a pedestal? You are a divine empress. So act like one. Why do you want somebody to not give you the effort that you deserve. Why do you want somebody who's giving you the bare minimum? You deserve so much more than that. And if your divine masculine is still not ready to give you what you deserve, then they're not ready to give you what you deserve. Why are you reaching out to them? To let them know that you're there, to let them know that you care. They know you're there. They know how to reach out to you. They're fully aware of where you are because they are thinking about you. But you do not need to reach out to them anymore. You do not need to remind them of where you are, of who you are, of your love for them. You guys need to stop. Be in your divine feminine empress energy. You do not chase, you attract. But right now you need to focus on you. Be in the present moment. Love who you are. Just be. There's, there's no doing. There's nothing you need to do. You don't need to over meditate. You don't need to go and heal everything. You don't need to do anything. You just need to be. You need to be in the present moment. You need to love yourself. You need to remember who you are. This is why I say that. Remember who you are. I joke around about that phrase because it's on Lion King, but it's true. You need to remember who the hell you are. You need to remember that person. Who is that person? What do you love about yourself? Instead of focusing on your twin flame, instead of focusing and putting them on a pedestal, screw that. You do not need to put them on a pedestal. You need to put yourself on a pedestal. You need to love yourself. What are all the attributes you love your, about yourself? Go and focus on that. Go and focus on everything that is so good within you. Whatever you see that's good in your twin flame, you need to see that within yourself. That light that you see in your twin, you need to see that within yourself. 
Do they make you laugh? Make yourself laugh, okay? Do you find them sexy? What's sexy about you, right? What is it that you love about yourself? I need you to go in the mirror right now. Go stand in front of your mirror naked and tell yourself amazing things about yourself. Go look at your body. You may not love your body right now, but go look at your body. Go look at your body and, and connect with your body. Be grateful for your body. Be grateful that you have a body. Connect with yourself. Say things that you love about yourself inside and out. How much you shine, how much you laugh, your personality, the kindness that you do for others. You're a good singer, or that you're a good dancer, or that you're, that you're artistic, that you're creative, that you have a mind that just loves to imagine things. I, I don't know, whatever it is that you love about yourself, right? Go and love those things, even your flaws. I, you guys, I used to hate my nose. My nose is a little bit on the big side, but I don't care. My ears, sometimes they used to bite, but I don't even know why. My ears don't even stick out that much. Just salt white. You know, it's my double chin. I don't care. I don't care. None of this matters. None of it matters because I see me and I love myself. I see myself as somebody beautiful because none of this shit matters. None of it matters. I should have done this video without makeup because then it would show that it really doesn't matter. But you guys need to focus on the good attributes about yourself and focus on who you are and love yourselves through and through. Even the flaws, even the flaws, right? Like, like I said, I used to hate my nose and now I look at my nose and I'm like, you know what? It's unique, it's different. Everyone else has, goes and gets a nose job and they all look the same. And now I feel different, I feel unique and I still love myself. I still love my face. It's so sad how much we put ourselves down and we put everyone else on a pedestal. When you should be putting yourself on a pedestal Twin flame or not, if that person is not showing you the love that you deserve, you need to go and show yourself the love that you deserve. You need to be, okay? It's not about doing anything. It's not about going and healing everything and somatic breathing and all these different techniques and shadow work and all, oh my God, I need to heal, I need to heal so I can have my twin flame back. No, you need to be. You need to be and you need to love yourself and you need to surrender the, to the outcome. It doesn't matter when your twin will come back. It doesn't matter how. It doesn't matter what they will do. What matters and what you need to remember is God will put them in your life when you are ready, when it is time, when the time is right. So you need to start surrendering to the, just let it go. Let go of control as a divine feminine. You need to let go of control. Divine masculines take action. If they're not taking action, it's because you have not surrendered. You need to go within and love yourself wholeheartedly. Forget the rest. Please just stop the twin flame label. Focus on yourself. Love on yourself. Love yourself through and through and surrender and put, stop putting everyone else on a pedestal. Put yourself on a pedestal right now. Go and take care of yourself. Go get a massage. Go treat yourself to something and just surrender. Surrender and love yourself because you so deserve that love that you need.